Hello, I'm Dr. Randall K. Rennick, and I'm a professor of dermatology at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, and I'm a member of the Division of Dermatologic Surgery, and here today to talk to you about Merkel cell carcinoma. Merkel cell carcinoma is a rare cancer of the skin. The word Merkel, M-E-R-K-E-L, is the name of a physician uh, who lived over a hundred years ago who described the Merkel cell in the skin. Merkel cell is a rare skin cancer, uh, but it's an aggressive skin cancer. Uh, it usually presents in older folks uh, and tends to look like a red nodule that grows quickly. It usually is on sun exposed areas and may be related to excessive sun exposure, but that has not been well determined because this is such a rare cancer. Merkel cell cancer grows quickly and the diagnosis is sometimes confused because it's not the kind of lesion you would suspect if you didn't see these lesions with some regularity. It, there's probably less than a hundred of these diagnosed per year. Um, and so it usually is something that subspecialists see with some regularity. So here at Mayo Clinic we would see 10 or 20 of these per year. But if you're in a general practice, it's not likely you would see more than one of these in your career. They often look like an infection, a boil, uh, or other conditions that are relatively benign. So it's not uncommon that someone might present with this lesion to a general practice office and might be given an antibiotic, but the antibiotic wouldn't be very effective. The only way to make the diagnosis of this cancer is to do a biopsy. So the lesion has to be excised, or at least a portion of the lesion removed, and submitted to pathology. Merkel cell carcinoma is aggressive and a life-threatening problem. Uh, it doesn't take long for this tumor to go into deeper tissues, and in fact, a high percentage of patients, 20 to 50 percent, develop lymph node involvement or metastatic disease, if not caught early. So the treatment of this condition requires a combination approach once the diagnosis has been made. So initially we need to know what it is, so the biopsy is key. Then we usually uh, do another surgical procedure once we know what the cancer is, and the procedure is to cut out the cancer and make sure we got it all. But usually we have to take extra skin besides simply getting the lesion out. In addition, we want to evaluate the lymph nodes because this tumor goes to the lymph nodes so often. So at the same time as the excision is performed, we'll often perform what's called a sentinel node biopsy to determine whether or not the tumor has gone into the lymph nodes. Hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, uh, that's a real problem because if this tumor has gone to the lymph nodes, the cure rates dr decrease dramatically and as I said, it's a life-threatening problem. In addition to surgery, uh, two other approaches are usually taken to treat this problem, radiation therapy and chemotherapy. And the approach depends uh, greatly on the extent of the disease, the general health of the patient, and uh, uh, some other unique uh, characteristics of those treatments. The bottom line is that uh, if you have this condition, uh, it really is uh, an emergent problem that needs to be treated immediately.